What's up, y'all? It's me, Nate Almighty. Show my face. Getting more close to the people. But I got a Raising Canaan Season 3 Theory, okay? Now, let's talk about the top four people on Rock's Kill List. The top four people that we know for a fact Raquel wants dead. Even though she didn't speak on it yet this season, okay? Four. And I got a fifth one, a wild card, right? A wild card pick, but you gotta stick to the end of the video in order to figure that out, all right? So have some patience with your boy, right? Also, subscribe to the channel if you ain't. Hit the like button. Now let's get to the business, right? The first person, Juliana. She got smoke with Juliana, okay? And and Juliana's cousin pretty much let us know that he's not tripping if she killed Juliana. He kind of like he he kind of respects her business. So it's very possible that Traymont and Abraham are not bringing in the same kind of money. They're they're less hustlerific than Raquel. Yes, I just invented that word. Words like that just fly off the cuff. I have the gift with words. Yes. Hustlerific. You never heard it anywhere else, right? So, because it seems... Because if if they were making him just as much money as Raquel or more, I mean, <laughs> I think he might have been a little bit... You know what I mean? The energy might have been a little bit different, right? Like a little bit more nonchalant, right? But what he said was... I'm open to your business. <laughs> Anytime you want to come back. Juliana's not having it, right? She wants Raquel to suffer, right? She wants Raquel dead. Her cousin is not having it. By the way, Juliana, I understand why she's mad, but really she's going against the grain. Like, remember what life you was living before Raquel came in, right? Now you, you know what I mean? Now you all on your Rosie Perez shit and all that, but like, right, like, like, <laughs> you was getting rocks size fists thrown at your head on a regular basis and all that. She killed your husband for you. No matter what. No matter what. You feel me? Right? But anyway, anyway, Juliana, she wants Juliana to die. Number two, because I already brought him up. For reason number one, Traymon, right? She said what she said. She said, this ain't, this ain't over until I could do you the way you did me, right? And my meat is bigger than yours. <laughs> she said it. <laughs> that doesn't sound like somebody who, who her animosity towards you can be solved and dissolved by money, which you already tried. By, by a business opportunity, because you may not be offering enough money, especially as someone who's saying they kind of want to get out of the game. Now, that scene where she in somebody's house shooting somebody, that could be trademark, right? Now we're gonna we're gonna put Abraham right in with this and not add him on the list. He's like two B to trademark two A because you know. They circled them together, right? So, so she wants trademark. She wants trademark. Man. She wants trademark in hand. That's number two. Number three, Detective Howard, okay? She still has all the reason in the world to want Detective Howard gone, okay? She still don't want the whole world to know she was his informant. She for damn sure don't want the whole world to know that he's Kanan's father. Also, we're going to find out that she snitched on Marvin. I'm sure she would want to have her dead before that information could get revealed. Either way, I think Detective Burt already has that information. And somehow, some way, that information... Is gonna get the jukebox or Canyon, okay? Right, but she still has motive to have Detective Howard killed, and she's probably 
rubbing their hands like Birdman, waiting for the opportunity to happen. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's it's that real. Rock did not forget about the fact that she wants Detective Howard gone. She's going to rock him to sleep and she's going to kill that man. Yeah, it's going to happen, right? The next person, Scrappy's mother, okay? I think Raquel already added her to the kill list, but I think she's overlooking. I just can't get over the fact that that as fast as Scrappy's mother was driving and then hit that Yui and spoke to Kanan and that gangster music was playing and the lyrics uh, and the lyrics without saying verbatim they were saying uh, I'm gonna kill her and I'll shoot you right and I just feel like those are subtle details of them letting us know what Scrappy's mother is capable of right now she's definitely capable of telling but she also might be like tough. <laughs> now she older than Raquel, right? But it, she may be tough though, right? We may end up finding out that before Raquel was out in the streets, she was out in the streets, but she fell back when she had her son, right? We might end up finding this out. She might be about that life. She might be about that life. So it's like, if if Lulu or, or Kanan end up telling Scrappy's mother what happened, hey, hey, it could get bad, right? It could get bad. It really could. It, it could, man. It could, you know? And I would like to see a woman come at Raquel on some gangster shit and really see a back and forth like that. I would like to, even though we know ultimately Rock gonna win, but whatever, right? And number five, my wild card. You never would have expected this person, right? Because Raquel never said it. We never seen a scene with Raquel and this person. Nah, but anybody who helped and came and succeed in the streets is... Someone who Raquel is going to add to her kill list. It could be anybody. You know what I mean? It could be Snaps. It could be the white boy who doing the career business thing with Kenan. It could be anybody, man. It could be anybody, man. Anybody, man. But y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Am I missing anybody? Like, share, comment, subscribe. Peace.